Point blank, and I still miss. Let's see if we can increase our probability here. Okay, we have one down. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dredden, and we are back in True Survival Alpha 16. Um, well, I think today I want to go to the trader. I know it's a little bit, um, busy out there, shall we say? Um, let's see here, we have lots of our iron, but unfortunately we don't have our cooking grill. Um, we might be able to get one up there. Uh, it's questionable? And, um, another thing I kind of want to do today is perhaps, like, scout out. I don't know. Did something happen with the world? That's not good. Got some weird random gen stuff happening there. Uh, we may need to find like a new base location. Um, and it's not because like this one's bad per se. Um, well, you can kind of hear right now like there's somebody inside the base, right? Inside this house. And it's true um we have been having people come in and kind of um you know wandering hordes wrecking the whole place all the time right that's sort of just how it is um mostly even with like alpha 16 to be honest uh you know what i really want to try to not fight some people here so if I can avoid it, I'm going to. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's try to walk across here without getting killed. Anyway, so, um, the thought is, it's wasting a bunch of my resources and thus my time. Oh wow, she's really moving for one of those ones. To get, um,. Let's see here. Can I do? I can't drink that. Um, to get and survive this whole thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's fine. That dude can do that. Let's run and get in here. I think I have enough to do that now. Um, go. Close. Okay. Whew, a little bit safer. Come on, bro. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about him. So, yeah, I'm going to try to create a little underground base, I think, because that way the wandering hordes will just wander over top, right? I'm going to sell him his own charcoal if I can. And... Oh, don't want that at all. Get out of here, you. Get out of here. Um, yeah, that way, yeah, we're not wasting as much of our time and resources. Uh, this is... I know that one. I don't know if I can sell it to him. Okay, anyway, I think that's all the checking out we can do here. Getting out of this place might be a bit terrible. Alright, let's see what we can buy. Oh, no, I forgot my bullet. Oh, my money. Ah, I've been expecting you. Well, that's good. Wow. So I'm not going to be able to buy anything anyway. Oh, crap. Well, I partly came up here mostly just to get so there's just lots of ammo. Um some things made in the forge, so Thank you, survivor. Check back soon to get your merchandise daily. You're like the best, man. I want to close your door and totally respect everything about you, buddy. Um. Oh, well then, you can buy better bartering. Need? I did not know this. Cool. Good to check these things. All right, um, it's five o'clock. We need to get some stuff going. I don't remember which ones were which here, so we're just gonna 
start getting some of these cracked open. Okay, this is the chem station, which is destroyed. Uh, yep. And... Cement mixer. And... Nothing. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... wood either. Ugh. But see, this is the problem. This is what I'm thinking, right? Like, if we don't actually make an underground base, um, we are wasting lots of valuable resources. So, get in there, you. And I do have some clay, actually, so yeah, so let's put this clay in here. There. Uh, that way we can make the anvil. Anvil. Here we go. I still don't actually know this one, but I can probably buy it right now because I do have the skill to do... or the... Oh, wait a second. Hmm... what? Maybe I do know it. Am I just crazy? I'm probably just crazy. And oh, yeah, never mind. I'm just crazy. I haven't been up long enough yet. Okay, so that takes twenty, so we're fine on the clay. Let's keep that because we want to be careful with it. Because we, if we can get a cooking grill, then I can start to make um, iron axe heads and iron pickaxes with that, uh, with these two here. So. That level up would be really good. Um, if we can get it up to the uh, was it 12, 1200 mark, then we need to take out probably as much of this as we can because we also need to make a. Uh, let's see here, it's a um, club, uh, the iron reinforced club, I believe. Yes, you. So we only need like 20. So, I mean, not a big deal. I could probably actually just take that out right now just to make sure that I have at least one. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Oh, so terrible in here. Let's just uh, do this separately. There. There. Okay. So, I'm just gonna, I guess, wander around in here a bit more just to see if there's anything worthwhile. Um, we do need to get kind of... Uh, ooh, flanks are nice. I think that's broken. I'd say so. Did search you, did search you, and... Uh, da -da -da. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've searched all this stuff. Does this actually give me a bundled up bonus? No. That'd be kind of cool, though. And my screwdriver. Let's uh, put you there. I mean, I re it out. I don't see why it would let me take anything apart, but... Screwdriver and a stick. Why? Because I guess I need to update my version. Because, yeah. Hey, open. Alright, search those. Alright. So we have... Time is running out here. Um, we may not actually be able to continue this. This time is ticking too quickly, so... I, I gotta get back to the base and somehow deal with those guys. So that's... Uh, yeah, let's, let's go do this now because if I don't, I'm in trouble. Okay. And ideally, I mean, well, no, because it'll take, I think, 10 minutes to um, cook up, so... Yeah, we have to basically get ready to go already. Alright, so I have 24 arrows. But I get, like, a perfect shot, basically, on this guy. And... Oh, man. Point blank, and I still miss. We can increase our probability here. 
Okay, I have one down. And you. This might actually be a decent strategy for um, leveling kind of quick if you're kind of, you know, into the not minding the exploitiness of it. Uh, would be to kind of annoy, gather up all the local zombies and just run back to the trader every now and then. Hmm. Probably a great idea. I don't know that I'm going to do that, but it seems like a really good idea. Holy cow already, you. Oh. Oh, man. That hurt me right through there. Not cool. Can I shoot her through here? Come here, you. There we go. Thank you, Darlin. And... There. Okay. So, we basically have to head out. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh man, 250. We're like a hundred short, aren't we? Oh, that is sad. Okay, well, uh, that's just how it is, I guess. We're just going to let that run. Either that or it's like ridiculously close. Um, so we just should let them go. Um, maybe we can... Oh, no. Arlene. Um, can we get out of here another way? Because we have to get out of here, like, now. Um. Or we're not... Uh-oh. It's going to be able to get out very easily. Um. Okay, well, let's get this Arlene. Shoot, she's got a stupid head wobble. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Eight o'clock. And I need to get out of here. Um, do I have my grain alcohol? Because I'm probably going to need it at this pace. So we'll see use the... No, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Crap. Not good, guys. Yep, because we need some time to attempt to get uh, back to the base. If we don't, um, if, if we have any sort of uh, problem, we may need to take a detour. Uh, and I don't want to be stuck out here at night. <laughs> Obviously, right? So, let's just try to survive on our way back down there. Alright, alright. Oh man, my uh, things here are all not set up the best way. Oh, don't jump too far, buddy. That's not a great idea, but we did it anyway. Okay, we have lots of water at the base, so that's good. Um, okay. I am rather concerned about that visual artifact over there, though. Okay. I guess we're alright. Like, what the heck is causing that? It's kind of annoying. Because I haven't updated anything uh, in like a week, so shouldn't have done that. Alright, so we probably want to be... Hmm. So like, this is kind of a good location because the trader is so close. But the trader only seems to have a lot of guns and stuff. So we have this location, but the over here would be kind of good. <sighs> I wonder if maybe we should do a base near, like, that Chernobyl building. 
Hmm. Or maybe one on some part over here. And then we can spend some time looting this. The problem is, like, the zombies can kind of dig through and get to the to get to us, right? So it's kind of like questionable. Okay, so I have no little axe on me. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe I can take apart some of this as we go. Um, can I make one right now? I've got this, this, some sticks. Yeah, let's make some, some axe and stone axes here. I do not have the necessary branches. Yes, you're right. All right. Um, so we will not be able to take her out apart too much stuff, but that's all right. Um, I'm thinking I need to put down a bunch of spikes. May as well do that now. Start anyway. Nobody visiting us down here. So we'll put down all these ones. These ones don't take or deal damage. So um, that's kind of all right for now. And hopefully I won't fall down this thing again, but it, like I said, it's these aren't actually going to deal any damage right now, so that is fine. They kind of just sit here and do nothing. But if we get them placed, then we can come down and fix them up like tomorrow. So... Let's see, this whole area needs to be upgraded. Basically, all the edges definitely need to be, you know, have more protection. Um, this wall often is getting some major, major damage. Let's keep putting them in here. Um, this whole wall will need to be more reinforced. Let's try to get this um, thing here taken apart, actually. Unsearched. What? Okay. Um, yeah, so ideally we can put in a lot more of these, too. Because... The more we have, the merrier. Or me. Okay, we are almost at night time. But that's fine. That is fine. Put some over in here too, just because. I kind of want to defend this whole area here. And I should probably put some somewhere about here. This is about where my dash is, so if they're like trying to get right underneath me, this is where they're going to be. Okay, now we need to kind of worry and possibly get out of here. Man, these sounds are so annoying. They're so loud. Okay. I mean, you know, most zombies run anyway, so I'm not going to be overly concerned about it, but all right. That is that. I do have my little axe thing, and we have all kinds of sticks. We could actually continue to upgrade these. I do you want to put more? Yeah, I'm trying to upgrade those spikes. Just like chill, 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 chill. Come on, down here. So, um, yeah. So yeah, basically. You guys, I think, understand, like, yeah, the uh, fact that if we build a base underground, um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, so um, Wild Rage did kind of um, remind me of this. And I think part of this, part of my willingness to really just kind of embrace it is the fact that I recall from Alpha 15 that, you know, I was thinking fall base is very important. And I think partly it is because of this reason that the zombies are constantly destroying your stuff. And 
Eh, whatever, we'll put that one there. I don't really mind it being there. And so, yeah, like, all POIs, even in vanilla, to be honest, do get abused by these um, wandering hordes. Sort of probably, the, you know, one of the problems I'm having in my main vanilla game with building my castle. Is I haven't really finished the, even one of the northern walls, like, because I'm, I don't want to have to repair it all right now. So I have it kind of open and flowy until I'm kind of ready for the whole thing to be fixed. Yeah, and it's kind of annoying because like, yeah, right now I could get a wandering horde come through here and they could take out a large number of these spikes even. And so, yeah, my ultimate goal now is, I think, to pick up a place. I don't quite know where, of course, but like, because the town, I need to finish searching. I've got like one little spiky belt thing there, but it is more dangerous. Um, so, but I think the overall strategy is good. We do the Horde Knight here. Hopefully the house doesn't collapse. And then we need to start scouting up for a new base. So, we'll see. If I can, I might even skip day 13, but we'll see how things go. So that way, I mean, who knows? It's just a bunch of, if I'm just doing stuff like this, then it's not necessarily stuff that everybody needs to see. But, you never know. Okay. Um. Uh -oh. Let's try to live. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Okay, I think we're good. Um, anyway, we're at about 20 minutes. I'm gonna make this a short episode because it's nighttime, and really all I have to do is put on spikes. Like, I don't really have much else to do. So, but yeah, where else is good? Because, I mean, like, we want a little divot in the ground. The other way, none of the zombies will be able to get us. Ideally, we'll be able to do it in a resource patch that uh, we can then use for um, some sort of resource, like clay or perhaps one that has... Uh, metal in it or something, so that would be a clever idea. Um... Hmm... So... Yeah, we got... A lot of flat space up at... This one? Um... And this is the Chernobyl one. Which, you know, somewhere like in there might be good, or even because this is clay here so this could be a good spot and um, sometimes those gravel patches are good too if you can find them this might be one it's, I don't know it's kind of weird to see and sometimes I, I feel like your survival is kind of screws with things um this could also be good too though right around in here but I don't know if I really want to deal with all the lumberjacks as well, but it gives access to all three different types of terrain here. This one seems to have a lake near it, so that would be something. Um, and of course, this town is good. You know, this plateau might be the best option we have. And who knows, maybe, maybe even this rock. I don't know. Because up top it's fairly flat and um, not too bad. Though this looks fairly flat here. So maybe out over here, depending on what's out there. Water is kind of close. It's not really close. So maybe, maybe over there. 
and then we can still kind of you know make our way to the trader. We have those like spike belts in place, so they can kind of save our life and whatnot. So that could, that could work. That could work. This area is just way too hilly in here. Like it's just, I don't know. I, I don't think I could build a base in there and enjoy it, basically. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this shorter episode, uh, just hit that like button and. Um, Oh, wow, there's a lot of zombies out there. And um, it helps the channel grow, so that's fantastic. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, see where this whole thing goes, that would be fantastic. Yeah, we got button hooked up there. I mean, I I knew I wanted to build some uh, molds and stuff, but uh, they're they're hidden behind um, some a cooking grill, which we haven't got. So you know, we're kind of SOL there. Um, but if we go to the town, we might be able to find one, but it's a little risky. So, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next episode, We're getting very close to the second horde night. Um, until then, bye-bye, and I hope you enjoy your true survival experiences. If I can, I might even skip day 13, but we'll see how things go. Because that way, I mean, who knows, it's just a bunch of, if I'm just doing stuff like this, then it's not necessarily stuff that everybody needs to see. But, you never know. Okay. Um. Uh -oh. Let's try to live. Up, 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 up. Okay, I think we're good. Um. Anyway, we are at about twenty minutes. I'm gonna make this a short episode because it's nighttime, and really all I have to do is put on spikes. Like I don't really have much else to do. So. But yeah, where else is? Good. Because, I mean, like, we want a little divot in the ground. By the way, none of the zombies will be able to get us. Ideally, we'll be able to do it in a resource patch that uh, we can then use for um, some sort of resource, like clay or perhaps one that has uh, metal in it or something. So that would be a clever idea. Um. Hmm. So yeah, we got a lot of flat space up at this one. Um, and this is the Chernobyl one, which you know somewhere like in there might be good, or even because this is clay here, so this could be a good spot. And um, sometimes those gravel patches are good too. If you can find them, this might be one. It's, I don't know. Kind of weird to see. And sometimes I, I feel like True Survival kind of screws with things. Um, This could also be good too, though, right around in here. But I don't know if I really want to deal with all the lumberjacks as well. But. It gives access to all three different types of terrain here. This one seems to have a lake near it, so that would be something. Um, and of course, this town is good. You know, this plateau might be the best option we have. And who knows, maybe, maybe even this rock. Get out of here. Um... Yeah, that way, yeah, we're not wasting as much of our time and resources. Uh, this is... I know that one. 
don't know if I can sell it to him. Okay, anyway, I think that's all the checking out we can do here. Getting out of this place might be a bit terrible. Alright, let's see what we can buy. Oh, no, I forgot my bullet. Oh, my money. I've been expecting you. Well, that's good. Wow. So I'm not going to be able to buy anything anyway. Oh, crap. Well, I partly came up here mostly just to get so there's just lots of ammo. Um, some things made in the forge, so. Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon to get your merchandise daily. You're like the best, man. I want to close your door and I totally respect everything about you, buddy. Um, oh, well then, you can buy better bartering. Neat. I did not know this. Cool. Good to check these things. Alright, um, it's five o'clock. We need to get some stuff going. I don't remember which ones were which here, so we're just gonna start getting some of these cracked open. Okay, this is the chem station, which is destroyed. Uh, yep. And... Cement mixer. And... Nothing. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... Oh, man, I really don't have much wood either. Ugh. But see, this is the problem. This is what I'm thinking, right? Like, if we don't actually make an underground base, um, we are wasting lots of valuable resources. So, get in there, you. And I do have some clay, actually, so yeah, so let's put this clay in here. There. Uh, that way we can make the anvil. Anvil, here we go. I still don't actually know this one, but I can probably buy it right now because I do have the skill to do, or the, oh, wait a second. Hmm, what? Maybe I do know it. Might's gonna start getting some of these cracked open. Okay, this is the chem station, which is destroyed. Uh, yep. And cement mixer. And nothing. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Oh man, I really don't have much wood either. Ugh. But see, this is the problem. This is what I'm thinking, right? Like, if we don't actually make an underground base. Um, we are wasting lots of valuable resources. So, get in there, you. And I do have some clay, actually, so yeah, so let's put this clay in here. There. Uh, that way we can make the anvil. Anvil, here we go. I still don't actually know this one, but I can probably buy it right now, because I do have the skill to do, or the, oh, wait a second, hmm, what, maybe I do know it, am I just crazy, I'm probably just crazy, and, well, yeah, never mind, I'm just crazy, I haven't been up long enough yet. Okay, so that takes 20, so we're fine on the clay. Let's keep that. Because we want to be careful with it, because we... If we can get a cooking grill, then I can start to make um, iron axe heads and iron pickaxes with that, uh, with these two here. So that level up would be really good. Um, if we can get it up to the uh, 
what is it, 1200 mark, then we need to take out probably as much of this as we can because we also need to make a, uh, let's see here, it's a um, club, uh, the iron reinforced club, I believe, yes, you. So we only need like 20, so I mean, not a big deal. I could probably actually just take that out right now just to make sure that I have at least one. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Oh, so terrible in here. Let's just uh, do this separately. There. There. Okay. So I'm just gonna... Let's try to live. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. up. Okay, I think we're good. Um, anyway, we're at about 20 minutes. I'm gonna make this a short episode because it's nighttime, and really all I have to do is put on spikes. Like, I don't really have much else to do. So... But yeah, where else is good? Because, I mean, like... We want a little divot in the ground. The other way... None of the zombies will be able to get us. Ideally, we'll be able to do it in a resource patch that uh, we can then use for um, some sort of resource, like clay or perhaps one that has uh, metal in it or something. So that would be a clever idea. Um, hmm... So, yeah, we got a lot of flat space up at this one. Um, and this is the Chernobyl one, which, you know, somewhere like in there might be good, or even... Because this is clay here, so this could be a good spot. And... Um, sometimes those gravel patches are good, too. If you can find them, this might be one. It's, I don't know. Kind of weird to see. And sometimes I, I feel like True Survival is kind of screws with things. Um, this could also be good too, though, right around in here. But I don't know if I really want to deal with all the lumberjacks as well. But it gives access to all three different types of terrain here. This one seems to have a lake near it, so that would be something. Um, and of course, this town is good. You know, this plateau might be the best option we have. And who knows, maybe, maybe even this rock. I don't know. Because up top it's fairly flat. And um, not too bad. Though, this looks fairly flat here. So maybe out over here, depending on what's out there. Water is kind of close. It's not really close. So maybe, maybe over there. And then we can still kind of, you know, make our way to the trader. We have those like spike belts in place so they can kind of save our life and whatnot. So that could, that could work. That could work. Eight o'clock. I need to get out of here. Um, do I have my grain alcohol? Because I'm probably going to need it at this pace. Should we also use the... No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Crap. Not good, guys. Yep. Because we need some time to attempt to get uh, back to the base. If we don't, um, if, if we have any sort of uh, problem, we may need to take a detour. Uh, and I don't want to be stuck out here at night. <laughs> Obviously, right? So, let's just try to survive on our way back down there. Alright, alright. Oh man, my uh, things here are all not set up the best 
way. Oh, don't jump too far, buddy. That's not a great idea, but we did it anyway. Okay, we have lots of water at the base, so that's good. Um, okay. I am rather concerned about that visual artifact over there, though. Okay. I guess we're alright. Like, what the heck is causing that? It's kind of annoying. Because I haven't updated anything uh, in like a week, so shouldn't have done that. Alright, so we probably want to be... Hmm. So like, this is kind of a good location because the trader is so close. But the trader only seems to have a lot of guns and stuff. So we have this location, but the over here would be kind of good. I wonder if maybe we should do a base near like that Chernobyl building. Hmm. Or maybe one on some part over here. And then we can spend some time looting this. The problem is like the zombies can kind of dig through and get to the to get to us, right? So it's kind of like questionable. Okay, so I have no little axe on me. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can take apart some of this as we go. Um, can I make one right now? I've got this, this, some sticks. Yeah, let's make some, some axes, stone axes here. I do not have the necessary branches. Yes. Um, sometimes those gravel patches are good too, if you can find them. This might be one. It's, I don't. Know kind of weird to see and sometimes I feel like true survival is kind of screws with things um this could also be good too though right around in here but I don't know if I really want to deal with all the lumberjacks as well but it gives access to all three different types of terrain here this one seems to have a lake near it so that would be something um and of course, this town is good. You know, this plateau might be the best option we have. And who knows, maybe, maybe even this rock. I don't know. Because up top is fairly flat and um, not too bad. Though, this looks fairly flat here. So maybe out over here, depending on what's out there. Water is kind of close not really close so maybe maybe over there and then we can still kind of you know make our way to the trader we have those like spike belts in place so they can kind of save our life and whatnot so that could, that could work that could work this area is just way too hilly in here like it's just I don't know I, I don't think I could build a base in there and enjoy it basically Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this shorter episode, uh, just hit that like button, and, um, oh, wow, there's a lot of zombies out there, and um, it helps the channel grow, so that's fantastic, and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, see where this whole thing goes, that would be fantastic. Yeah, we got a button hooked up there, I mean, I, I knew I wanted to build some uh, molds and stuff, but uh, they're, they're hidden behind. Um, some a cooking grill which we haven't got so you know we're kind of SOL there um, but if we go to the town we might be able to find one but it's a little risky so we'll see we'll see how it all goes um, so yeah I will see you in the next episode we're getting very close to the second horde night um, until then Bye-bye, and I hope you enjoy your true survival experiences.